welcome back to eco designs to fit youtube channel in today's video i'll be sharing with you guys how to draft out a notch collar jacket which is also known as a lapel jacket so if this is what you are interested in learning stay tuned until the end of this tutorial now we are going to be drafting out the back pattern first and once we are done with that we move over to the front so i have my pattern paper right on top of my table and i've marked out the baseline so this baseline is going to serve as the shoulder line and i'm going to place my tape right there and then i would gradually mark my bust points and the waist point okay so this top is going to end right on the waistline so it's going to be a crop lapel jacket all right so i've marked it out and the next thing i'm going to do is to square up my lines okay so i'm trying to square up my lines right now once i am done what i'm going to do next is to move over to the baseline again which is the shoulder line and i'm going to have to divide my shoulder into two equal halves so my shoulder right here is 15 inches i'll be dividing it by two and i'll mark from the folded part of my paper 7.5 inches now going down to the bust point i'm going to come up by 1.5 inches and that is going to be my chest line or you can as well divide your bust circumference by six and add 1.5 inches now once you are done from the folded part of your paper you are going to go ahead and ensure that you also have 7.5 inches mark on this chest line and go back and mark one inch downward for shoulder slope and then connect it into this chest line so the distance between this shoulder slope and the chest line is going to serve right now as your armhole depth so i'm going to go ahead and label all my lines so i have the shoulder line chest line bust point and the waist line so now from the folded part of my paper again on the shoulder line i'm going to mark out three inches for my neck width and then one inch for the neck depth okay and once i am done marking this out i'm going to use my curve ruler so this is a pattern master i'm going to use it to connect my neckline and then connect this into the armhole depth line okay which is the shoulder slope now what you are going to do next is to divide the distance between the shoulder slope and the chest line into two so whatever you have go ahead and mark it out now go back to the chest line and divide your bust circumference by four mark whatever you have on the chest line and on the bust point you can see i didn't mark out anything on the bust point because what i have on the chest line is going to serve for the bust point okay now on the waistline you're going to have to divide your waist and then also add one inch for your dart intake okay so what i have right there is 9.5 inches and i went ahead to connect from the waist upwards to the chest line okay now i'm going back to the chest line i'm going to square the chest line over to the folded part of my paper all right and the next thing i'm going to do right now is to divide my nipple to nipple measurement by two so the nipple to nipple measurement here is eight inches divided by two i have four so from the folded part of my paper i'm going to mark in four inches down to the waist line okay and then on the chest line i'm going to go down by one inch this is where the dart leg of the front usually start from now going down to the waistline i'm going to mark out half inch on both sides okay so as you can see i've marked it out and i'm connecting the dart legs into the one inch below the chest line okay so now you guys i'm going to go over to the shoulder so i'm going to divide my shoulder into two because we are going to have to use shoulder princess dart for our pattern okay 
So it is always important that you make use of a princess dart. You are either going to use your armhole princess dart or a shoulder princess dart. So you can see I've divided it and connected to the one inch below the chest line and also went ahead to connect my armhole. Okay. So you guys, once you are done with all of this, our back block is ready. And as you can see, I'm trying to cut this out. So you can see that the back is actually very simple. So I'm trying to cut it out right now. All right. So once I am done cutting it out, I'm going to cut out the that okay but first of all let's label this so that we won't get ourselves confused so what i'm going to do right now is to mark the center back and the side back you can see and you guys on the waist i'm going to go in by half inch okay and then connect it to the neckline okay this is because if you don't do this you're going to have like a bulge right at the back okay because our spine right at the back is not straight okay you see that thing that goes in on the waist of your spine so that is what we are going to take in to avoid any form of bulginess okay so i'm going to go ahead and cut it out right now as you can see and once i am done with this i will also cut out my that legs okay So guys, I am done with the back block. I am done cutting it out. So this is what we have. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring in another paper so that we can cut out the front. Now, this front is very important. You need to pay good attention to the front because that is where the lapel is coming in. Okay. So you can see that the back is actually very simple. All right. I'm telling you this so that you'll be able to pay good attention to detail. Okay. So now for us to cut out the back, you can see I have my fresh pattern paper so the first thing you should consider is you need allowance where your lapel is going to stay okay so what i'm going to do is to go ahead from the folded part of my paper i will come in by five inches okay you can go in by six inches seven inches you can even make use of four inches depends on how wide you want your lapel to be but i would advise you go in by five inches to be on a safer side okay so once you are done go ahead and connect it vertically and then you are also going to mark out a horizontal line right from the top go down by about four to five inches as well okay as you can see me doing like this now whatever it is that we are going to do drafting is going to be inside this box okay so now i've placed my tape on this um, five inches baseline okay and then marked my bust points and the waist line okay which is 11 inches and 18 inches remember guys i've not added any seam allowance right here okay so now go ahead and divide your shoulder into two again mark it out which is 7.5 inches from the bust point go up by 1.5 inches for your chest line all right and then go ahead and connect it to the one inch for the shoulder slope okay so i'm going to place my tape on the baseline and then go down by one inch and that is going to be for the shoulder slope now for the neck width and the depth of the front i'm going to use a standard of three by three 
inches okay now this neck width and neck depth actually depends on the size of your client okay so because i'm making this for a medium size that's why i'm making use of three by three inches which is the standard you can either increase or reduce all right now i'm going to go ahead and divide my boss circumference by four on the chest line i'm going to mark that and then on the waistline again i'm going to divide my waist circumference by four plus one inch for my dart intake okay so now that i'm done with that i'm going to go ahead and connect the lines and then move over to the armhole depth divide it into to whatever it is that i have right there i would mark and then from the middle of my armhole depth i would go in by half an inch and then connect my front armhole just like you can see me doing on the screen all right so guys once you are done with that next i'm going to from the center front mark four inches for my nipple to nipple measurements okay down to the waistline which is from the bust point down to the waistline and then from the bust point i'm going to go down by one inch okay and on the waistline i'm going to go in by half inch on both sides and then connect my dart legs so i'm equally going to go over to the shoulder divide my shoulder into two and then connect it to the one inch below the post point okay so guys the next step right now is for me to determine where the breaking point is going to be which is where the lapel is going to fall so for mine i'll be going up from the waistline by three inches and then once i mark these three inches i'm going to go ahead and go out by one inch as well okay so this same one inch i'm going to also mark it out on the waistline and then i would connect these lines together so once i am done connecting these lines together i'm going to connect from that one inch straight to the neck all right so you can see i'm going to use my straight ruler to do this all right so i've done that the next step is for us to start creating the notched collar all right now to do this i'm going to use the back neck of my jacket all right so i'm going to measure what i have on the back neck and you can see this is not straight it is curvy so what i'm going to do now what i have right there is 3.5 inches so from my shoulder i'm going to go ahead and mark out 3.5 inches upwards okay and then i'll be using my straight ruler to connect this just like this okay now because the back of our neck is curvy it is not straight if you leave it like this it's not going to stay well right at the back so what i'm going to do is to go out by 1.5 inches can you see and i'm going to connect in a slanty form can you see what i'm doing so i'm going to connect this just like this into the shoulder okay now once you are done with this what you are going to do next is go ahead and determine how wide you want your lapel to be okay so for mine i want it 2.5 inches away from the center front so i went ahead to mark it and then use my straight ruler to connect it just like this and then i will equally connect down to the breaking point now to connect to the breaking points you are free to 
determine how you want your lapel to look if you want it in a straight form go ahead and use your straight ruler to connect but if you want it in a curvy way go ahead and connect just like this so i want mine to have this curvy shape that's why you can see i'm using that part of my pattern master to connect it okay so once you are done with this all right from the outer part of your lapel you are going to go in by one inch 1.25 however you want it so i went in by 1.25 inches and it probably went up by 1.5 inches and then i'm going to connect this diagonally into the center front okay so you guys you can see what i have right here and now it's time for me to determine how wide i want my notched collar okay so what i'm going to do now is go ahead and go out by 2.5 inches okay that is how wide i want my you are free to make yours bigger or smaller all right so like i said previously you are free to be creative around this part okay on the collar area you are free to be creative so your creativity can actually make your notch collar jacket stand out okay so once i am done i'm going to go ahead and connect all right so you can equally see where i'm trying to use to connect this you are also free to connect this part using a straight ruler but for mine i went ahead to connect it with that curvy part all right so guys here we go this is our notched collar jacket we are done and right now we are going to go ahead and cut it out so first of all i'm going to cut out the notch collar can you see okay so once i am done cutting it out i'm going to label it so the upper part is going to be unfold while i am cutting this out and this part is going to be where i'll be fixing into the neckline and the other side is the upper part which is going to be facing upwards all right so i am done labeling it i'm going to put that aside and then continue with my cutting okay now you guys remember i haven't added anything like seam allowance or ease allowance right here okay so i also went ahead to label the center front and the side front okay the side is actually the side front but i made a mistake right there okay so i'm just going to continue cutting this out while you watch so guys can you see that our lapel is already out so i'm going to go ahead and continue with the cutting so right now i'm cutting out the dots and yes we are done this is what we have so i'm going to place this on the table right now both the front and the back so that you guys can see what we have i'm probably going to go cut this out on fabric okay so on the fabric i'm going to be adding half an inch allowance all around this and towards the down parts okay that is the waist i'm going to add one inch for turning allowance okay to make it more longer all right so you guys right on the collar as well i'm going to add half inch allowance on around it so this is what we have so guys you can see all of my half an inch seam allowance and equally i went ahead to add my sewing allowance on the side front and the side back so you guys can you see i also added 
half an inch is allowance because she might not want it too tight but if the person don't want it to have any ease leave it like this and add just your sewing allowance so guys i hope you find this video helpful this will be the end of this tutorial if you actually find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up endeavor to share this video so that more people can get to see it and you guys if you haven't subscribed at this point please subscribe i will see you in my next one bye